Eastern's Ethernet International Private Line and Global MBLS for businesses today. And um, maybe to sum it up, in particular, what kinds of businesses do you think will benefit from most of this, these products? Okay, I'll answer first the second question. Anong businesses, anong market segment, you can cater to global data services. Basically, these are those multinational companies who have branches abroad or headquartered abroad connected to the Philippines. So how they are connected today, mainly are based on, sinabi ko kanina, time-based or time-switched. Um, tawag natin dyan IPLC, or if you're familiar with SDH, that's SDH based. Yung EIPL, or the Global MPLS, is moving away from circuit switch to packet switch connectivity. Anong advantage nito? Um, mas madali mag-upgrade. Mas madali kung dati, let's say meron kang IPLC connection from the Philippines to the US, you will have IPLC connection of 100 Mbps, and you want to upgrade to 200 Mbps tomorrow, it's not very easy. But today, you tell us your requirement will provision it for you right away. So it's, it's must, must burst the all, yes. must madali to upgrade, must, well, I should say scalable, and our Eastern advantage again is our commitment on the service level agreements, which is a combined commitment of EPA and our global, global carriers. And then, sir, of course, you also put emphasis on DDoS protection. So based on Eastern Communications observation, can you say that the, we have more attacks or the attacks are increasing now as compared to before? And how different are the attacks now as compared to the attacks years ago? Okay, this is a very interesting information. DDoS attacks are very cheap nowadays. When I say very cheap, when you can hire a DDoS attacker. So there is a DDoS attack for hire already. And there is even one incident in one of the online shopping that's a globally known online shopping that was hacked around five years or attack five years ago by an attacker DDoS for hire worth only $35 per hour. Imagine for 1,200 pesos, 1,300 pesos, you can already get a DDoS attacker for hire to attack your competition or wala lang, gusto mo lang gusto mo lang i-play for your website niya, etc. With that, pataas na pataas yung, um, yung demand for protection. And as I mentioned earlier as well, there's already a 2 point something TPPS attack that happened in Q1 of this year. And that's so huge enough that can handle, that can be handled hindi lang website but even their internet connectivity. And now moving on naman sir with Microsoft Azure. So, how different is it from Office 365? Okay, uh, Microsoft Azure is an IS product. Infrastructure as a service. Okay, um, Infrastructure as a service, this, um, this helps us to help our client na mag-provision ng hardware, mag-provision ng IT resources on the fly. So it's actually basically, it's a hard, it's an infrastructure that we are offering to our clients as a service. Wala ka nang, you're moving away from high capex because these are license-based, these are opex-based, predictability to costs, that's one of the biggest benefits. Aside from, of course, on the fly, you can already provision the IT requirements necessary. Office 365 is our offering as part of our software as a service, also by Microsoft, and that also moves away from heavy capex on the licenses, since this is office-based or license-based. Um, you don't have to worry anymore about upgrading your Microsoft Windows, because it's an automatic update by Microsoft in the cloud. And you can access your email, you can open Microsoft Windows, uh, or I should say Word, Excel, and all other productivity tools using your phone and wherever you are. So sir, I think my question would have been, what's the difference of 365 from, how different is it from Microsoft Office? Yeah, uh, the 365 is cloud-based, and you can access anytime, anywhere you want it. Um, re um, reliability is higher. A Microsoft Office that is based on our laptops. The speed depends on our laptops and it requires a higher investment on the capital on the licenses. One-time license is actually a perpetual license. If you want to upgrade from one version to the other, then there's another spending, etc. And uh, you always have to bring your laptop. If you want if you want to access your if you want to access your files, then you always have to bring your laptop. So what we do, you put that in the cloud, you put it in Office 365, 
You access your email, you access your work files, you access your notes, you access your calendar from different terminals. And lastly, Sir Edsel, let's just elaborate on Wi-Fi mesh. So it's something that generally interested everybody as well. So how is it that um, really different, I believe that you already explained this earlier, but the, how can the households and businesses really benefit from Wi-Fi mesh? All right. Um, who the businesses? How do businesses set up the Wi-Fi in their offices? Para may access points, di ba? Pagpunta mo sa mall, pagpunta mo sa mga big enterprises, they have access points. So yung Wi-Fi access points. And these are generally wired. Kailangan mo magkagkat ng kable. Hindi ganun kadali. Let's say, you need to ask permission from the admin or etc. Kailangan mo magkagkat. You really have to put structured cable in place in order for you to connect one access point to the other. These are normally for enterprise applications. Um, but with that, meron kang single SSID. Pero ang anong katapat nun, uh, hindi ganun kadali i-set up. And you don't do structured cabling at home. You don't hire a contractor para, para may magkatkat ng kable sa bahay ninyo. What we do, this solution is a wireless mesh of Wi-Fi access points and it's easy to configure. You don't necessarily have to be an engineer or a technician to do that. It's a plug and play solution and single SSID. That's very important. Single sex society, you go from your bedroom to your CR, to your living room, to your patio, etc. With a single sex society, you don't have to wreck your, to reconnect your phone anymore. Of course, means that um, automatic reconnection from one sex society to the other, but this one, there's no downtime from moving from one site to the other location, serving two different access points. Okay, so that's pretty much it. A round of applause once again. Thank you so much, Mr. Axel Patlinawan.